My name is Barb Sackle. Today's video is made possible by QuiltWoman.com. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to take a quilt and break it down to its simplest form. In other words, sometimes you're looking at a magazine and you see a quilt you love and it looks so complicated that you're afraid to even consider doing it. Well, if you took that quilt and broke it down into the simplest block, you would know at that instant that yes, you could do it. So let's talk a little bit about what quilts comprise of. Well, they usually comprise of blocks. Here are some of your most simplest basic block. The half square triangles putting together form your simplest block. And you'll see these a lot. Well, then we move to the four patch. The four patch means four pieces. And look, there's only one intersection to match. Not hard at all. Well, we take that and we go one step further. We go into the nine patch. The nine patch means nine little individual blocks. Again, not hard to do. And when you find one of these, you know you can do it. No intimidation there. Now let's take a nine patch and make it a little more complicated. Here it is. This is the Ohio Star. It's still nine little spaces, but now your little spaces have a little action in them. But you can do this, you can do this, and when you look at the block, you can say, yes, they're all very simplistic. I can do those. Well, to get a little more complicated, we're going to move into what is known as a five patch. Now, a five patch block is when you count the blocks across and down. You'll see a five patch. And then you'll also see a seven patch, which has seven blocks across and seven blocks down. So that's getting a little more complicated, but if you took each one of these patches and did just a little something in each of them, again, you can do it. No intimidation there. Well, you've probably seen this. This is the log cabin. Or if you've done my beginning quilting series, you've worked on courthouse steps which is just adding on pieces one, uh, one or two at a time to a center unit. That's, they're new and it, it's fun and exciting. This is something that's starting to get a little more intricate and this is when you start to use templates. At this stage you're in, in um, intermediate quilting. But let's take a look at some of my quilt samples I have and see if you can break them down into the simplest form. For instance, my intermediate quilt behind me. Well, this quilt is going to be coming up in my next video series, but can you see what it's comprised of? This whole quilt is only comprised of blocks. So you have just single blocks. And if you break each block down into its simplest component, like here, this centerpiece right here is a nine patch. Let's keep going and look at more quilts. Now take this quilt for instance. This quilt is, be, is going to be coming up and you'll see that I only have the top done. And actually this quilt is going to be quite large. I only have a portion of it done ready to show you today. But you'll see this quilt when we do a little bit of quilting and it'll be a simplistic quilting. We'll be adding the borders on this and I'll be teaching you how to make a quilt backing all using this piece. But back to the quilt itself. You'll notice we have a basic nine patch, and this block here is called a snowball. And when you put the two together, you get a uh, very interesting secondary design. It's a secondary design that usually makes a quilt look complicated. That's how you get the stars. But if you take it, break it down, you'll see that there's just two blocks in this quilt. The next quilt has a lot of pieces. This is called a uh, golden path. But if you break it down, we have a solid unit and we have half square triangles. And that's it. There's only two little basic blocks in this whole piece. So you're wondering, can I do this? Yes, you can. This is a very simplistic quilt. Next quilt I'm going to show is starting to get a little more complicated in that the individual blocks have a few more units. So this is your half square triangle, and then here you have three pieces, and here you have three pieces. But if you took this 
quilt and broke it down into the simplest little blocks, you can do this. And by the way, this is the quilt that's coming up in the very big video I'm excited about, Let's Square Up. This shows you how to put precision into your quilting. Now this quilt I wanted to show you, this is called my Quilter's Flag. And this I did blocks, but not in a traditional manner. And again, it looks like there's a lot of action going on, but you have to break this quilt down into its simplest form. So here you have a giant bear paw. But if you break the bear paw down, you see under the star that this is a four patch and this is just two half square triangles. Again, right down to your very basics. And then here, well, we just have strip work. And so as you start to look at this, you'll see it's broken down here. This is just chunks of fabric. Here you have, again, pieces, just some different ideas. The rick rack down here, although it looks confusing, again, is all half square triangles. That's it. So take a pattern and just look for those little pieces and you will notice that there's a lot of little easy things that make up a complicated quilt. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, with this quilt, this is my playful pinstripes. And you'll notice something very interesting. There are no blocks at all. This is what you consider it to be a row quilt. In other words, this whole piece of fabric is considered your block, not all the little pieces that we knew. So this whole piece up here, that's your block. And then look at all these. These are just straight strips. There is no finagling at all with those. You just sew them on. The most complicated piece of this is just the flying geese. And each one of these flying geese are only three pieces of fabric and well there's a trick that I use putting those together so again this quilt is very simplistic one thing I wanted to bring up with this quilt also this quilt is made out of flannel Now, whenever you work with flannel you want a very simplistic quilt that doesn't have a lot of angles because of the fabric stretch that you have with flannel so whenever you consider doing flannel as a quilt look for just big basic pieces and that'll make your life a lot easier. Now I thought I would show you a quilt that looks very confusing. There's a lot of color and there's a lot of pieces and there's a lot of action. Now this is a quilt that only has two blocks but when you put those two blocks together it forms a whole new design. Let's find those two blocks. So give me just a second and I'm going to put a piece of paper here, and I'm going to put a piece of paper down here and up here. This block, as you can see, same as all the color, other color blocks, is a nine patch. Notice how the nine patch isn't equal in size, but it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces. So that's still known as a nine patch. If we go next door to this block, there. This is our classic five patch. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. But the thing that makes this look difficult is because of these little pieces of color put in there. Well, that color extends into the nine patch and gives you a whole new design. So this, again, is how to break down a quilt. This quilt is only made up of two blocks and it's that simple. Now the next kind of quilt that we have is not blocks at all but instead it is applique. An applique is when you take one piece of fabric and you put it on top of another piece of fabric and I have a lot of applique quilts because I love them. This is Goldfish Aquarium. It's perfect for your bathroom don't you think? But anyway it's simple. It's nice big pieces, you outline it in a decorative stitch, and your quilting is done along with your outlining. Okay, I have one more quilt to show you. Let me put it up. Okay, this is the final quilt I want to show you, and I'm quite proud of this one. This fabric is from EBI, and it's called Holiday Reflections. And the thing of it is, you're going to look at this quilt and say, wow, that's a lot of piecing. 
But you're going to be surprised to find out that there's virtually no piecing in this quilt at all because this fabric right here that looks like a woven plaid is actually one piece of fabric. So you're going to see that this block, this huge block right here, is only four pieces. Let me show you in detail. I'm going to take the paper here. And just block this out. This, this block starts with two half triangles, like we talked about. There it is. And then I simply add two little pieces in the corner. So that's it. This is a very simplistic block with four little pieces. There's the block. Now, what's different about this quilt is it has a little bit of sashing in it to separate the blocks. So, you can see that four blocks make up one quarter of this quilt. You have four blocks and then four pieces of sashing. It doesn't get any easier than that. And if this looks complicated up here to you, all this is is two half square triangles again. Put, but because you position them differently, it makes it look like a whole different kind of pattern. So you have two half square triangles here, 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 and so on. So this quilt is almost comprised of just the most simplest block there is with a little bit of sashing. This is called Jewels, by the way, and it is available at quiltwoman.com. If you've liked the, any of the quilts you've seen today, everything is available at quiltwoman.com. So thank you for joining me today.